Look at that, and the prison is just right there, right next to the museum. There's actually inmates hauling in stock into the gift shop of the museum. This is crazy. Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Louisiana State Penitentiary. I'm at the actual massive Angola prison but I'm not gonna go in there because I don't want to get shanked they do have a museum that we can check out actually they do have a rodeo show where the inmates perform rodeo stunts for the adoring public almost makes me want to murder someone so I can join the rodeo see most museums in the south actually let you bring guns and knives inside hot sauce Made from peppers grown in the prison. Insanity peppers. Check this out. This is a strap. They're both big straps. Used to whip and beat prisoners. Apparently they were used up until the 1950s. Wow. Sounds harsh. Check this frightening knife that was actually shot out of the hand of a prisoner during a riot. Here's the head of a bull that was actually used in the rodeos. I'm not sure why his horns are red or why he has a red dot on his forehead, but still very cool. It's prisoners that competed in the rodeo. It's a real ball and chain that was actually used at the prison. I guess this section is like weapons and paraphernalia confiscated from prisoners. Look at that, it's like a bone carved into a knife. Lock put on the end of a leather strap to smash someone's skull. Oh, look at these nunchucks. One of these prisoners had some serious nunchuck skills. Some of these are very frightening. You do not want to oh my god, that prisoner made a ninja throwing star. Now this is a little graphic. This meat cleaver was used to actually murder someone by chopping their face apart. And kids, look away because they have the photo of the chopped up face right there. This is crazy. This brush right here actually somehow carved the end to actually be a working key for all the prison lock. Prisoners are really ingenious. Look at all these crazy freaking weapons. There's like a million ways to freaking stab someone in prison apparently. Oh my god, look at that. That is an evil weapon right there. And this was a freaking shotgun that some MacGyver fashioned to shoot other prisoners with. It's drug paraphernalia, form for making a key, dart gun made from an ink pen. Look at this, a, a homemade tattoo machine. Look, here's P. Diddy's pants from Monster's Ball. And Billy Bob Thornton's correctional outfit, I'm guessing was a filming location for that movie. Oh, here's Billy Bob Thornton's chair. Hey, this is stuff all used to escape prison with. There's a rope down here. I guess used to repel down the walls. This museum is kind of graphic. Look at this. These bullets, these used bullets were pulled out of someone's head after they shot themselves to death. Medieval axes. Medieval axes confiscated from prisoners. Why would a prisoner have a medieval axe and a mace in prison? I guess they fashioned themselves a gold axe in shop class and went on a rampage. It's a 
casket made by inmates. This is freaking amazing. This is gruesome Gertie, the electric chair that was used here at the prison. Can you imagine how many people have been electrocuted to death in there? Unfortunately, they're not going to let us do any photo ops in there. It's amazing. And over here, look at that. I got that execution hood they put over their face and then the wet sponge that they place on their head. Very, very scary. I guess all these people were zapped to death by the electric chair. I just look at the dogs. Hey there. <laughs> They're sweet. How are y'all? We have a little eight in the video. Oh, yeah, look at this, a replica cell. Check out this toilet. A sink and a toilet combined. Slightly disgusting. What's this? Look at this as a mannequin that was being made. That facilitate in an escape attempt. Just get the hand right there. I'm not sure their purpose, but this is amazing. Check out this inexplicable taxidermy display. The coyote, that's a big old alligator there in the middle. Big albino catfish. Oh, look at this. I almost missed this. It's a giant bald eagle carrying a massive American flag. That rare Angola blue crawfish? Oh my god. Okay, now that was freaking amazing. For a little graphic, if anything I learned in there is that life in prison is dangerous because you're going to get your face chopped off with an axe of some sort. All right, appreciate you guys watching.